Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Martin from Purgatory Vape Reviews. And I'm Don. And today we're going to have a quick look at the Smile and Draw Box. And when we're done, we're going to do a bit of a cloud off between the Raw Box and the Battle Star. We're back in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to quickly dive down, uh, show you what's inside the box, uh, give you some of the specs on the device and then we'll do a bit of a comparison back now. So this is the top of the, the box, um, on the side you'll see it says raw box, on the back it's just got a bit of info, uh, scratch and check security sticker and then on the other side it's just got a bit of info there. Inside the box you're going to get this card which is an after-sales service warranty card a little warning sticker a quality certificate a bit of specs this one's in Chinese and they've added one in English and here's the device itself you do get a little box inside inside the box you're just going to get a little charging cable and then there's your device so this here is the firing button this is where your uh, tank will go and this is for soft mode and hard mode so soft mode hard mode so some of the features of this device is that it features a handmade welded frame of 304 stainless steel. Um, on the sides here you'll have plastic PMMA. Uh, Don's just going to tell you a bit more about some of the other specs. So as you can see there's a little bit of a disco going on inside here. And what it does is uh, there's a LED on the top there which indicates the battery life. So anything between uh, 81 to 100 percent of all go green. Uh, when it drops below that it goes blue and then drops below 31 percent it goes red. And that obviously means it's time to get the thing charged up. So as you can see on the switch, uh, which we have discussed earlier, you've got a low and a high. Um, basically low is 80 watts, um, and then high puts you on 100 watts. It is more voltage regulated, so I wouldn't stress too much about this. We have found that it doesn't make that much of a difference um, when, when vaping. Mm -hmm. So what I found when I was doing a bit of research on the device is that in soft mode, you're getting between 2.5 and 3.2 volts. And in hard mode, you're getting about 5 volts. Um, from my experience, it says 100 watts. And what I gather is that it, it sort of cuts off at 100 watts. You get either 5 volts or a max of 100 watts. This does have a 3300 milliamp hour LiPo battery in, which gives you roughly the equivalent of you know, 9,900 milliamp hours of normal um, lithium ion batteries. Yeah. So the pros to this device is... Yeah, so for me, I really like the look of the device. Um, it fires really quickly, as you can see. Just give it a fire, show them how. It's super quick. Um, the look of it is a bit unusual. Um, I do like it myself. It, it caters to, I think, like a very niche market. But uh, gamers, I think, would love it. Mm. Uh, it looks like a gaming PC. Um, and yeah, it, overall it, it fires really quickly. It does depend on what build you have in there. If you've got yeah. like a, um, you know, like a, a super low Clapton build, um, like a flat Clapton build in there, it's got, you know, quite a bit more um, coil density to it, mm. um, wire density. So it will take super long to fire. Yeah. Whereas what we have in here, it fires perfectly. It gives you a lot of vapor and a lot of flavor. Definitely does. Cons. Okay, so cons definitely. Uh, I don't think it's everyone's cup of tea in terms of design. I think there are going to be guys who are a bit too scared to hold this thing in their hands. The, the the shape of this does look like it'll be very uncomfortable. It is slightly uh, it's yeah, yeah, a bit big. I find when um, it's in my hand that it, it, my hand starts to like grab it properly and it, mm. it actually feels comfortable. Yeah, it looks like it'll be uncomfortable, but it really isn't. That's true. Yeah. As you can see how Don's holding it, it actually, that's how I hold it as well. Mm. It looks comfortable, it feels comfortable. And the trigger's quite easy to get to as well, yeah. so 
Um, but yeah, I don't think that will be everyone's cup of tea. I think the mm. biggest thing, and this is a problem I've got, and you can actually see it on you after using it a little bit, is the juice does run down, mm. and you're gonna have to take these uh, panels off and actually clean the the plastic mm. just to get it clean again. Um, again, it's not the, the end of the world for me. I don't use this thing because I'm worried to clean it. Um, it is easy to clean, um, but I think the biggest thing with it is the look. Mm. Uh, I think that's why anyone really want to start off buying this. Um, the fact that it does perform well is just a bonus, really. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually really do like it. Another possible pro to some people, con to others, is that it features a built-in battery. Mm -hmm. um, it is a light battery, 3300 milliamp hour. Um, it, it charges up quite quick, but you know it is built-in, so yeah. you can't. You know, you look at the the battle star. Um, batteries die, take them out, pop the new batteries in. in. Yeah. yeah. With this, you can't do that. Yeah. That's actually why I actually choose to take everything both with me. Mm -hmm. um, just because of that, you know, I, when this one dies, if I don't have a charging output or facility near me, it's just a matter of putting this on and then swapping batteries around. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that is a, that is a bit of a con. Um, it does last quite long. Um, I don't think it's the greatest. Um, mm -hmm. Depends obviously how you use it as well. Um, but it is, it, it, it lasts for me. I mean, mm. if you normal working day, not vaping the whole day, it will definitely be okay. Yeah, I think with me <coughs> excessively vaping, I got about seven hours, you know, which is, is fairly decent. Mm. Um, but it, it does vary on, on how you're using it. You know, as Don says, if you're in a working environment, it should last you maybe even a whole day. Yeah. Um, if you're you know, constantly vaping, then not as much, but it will still last quite a while. So the colors this comes in is the black, which you see here, and then the red. Um, we'll put a picture up in a, mo in a moment to show you how both of them look. Yeah. For websites where you can find this, uh, we have it on the Purgatory website. It's a 1,100 Rand, and I'll have a link to a website overseas where you can get it as well. We're just going to do a quick cloud off between the Robox and the Battlestar. Yeah. Now, these are obviously two different devices, but they are both uh, SMO and uh, devices, so we thought we'd just put them together. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, these are two devices I use, two devices Martin's used. Um, so they are going to offer us two different kind of uh, fuel, especially the two different tanks as well. This one's got the RDA, this has got the RDTA. Um, again, it's just to do a bit of a comparison. There's no actual proof that this one's better than that or vice versa. So this is just basically plain clouds. Yeah, it all comes down to your personal preference. Yeah. So before we get started, I just wanted to mention both of us have different builds in our devices. Um, I put them in specifically for the devices we're using. Don's got a dual strand uh, twisted 24 gauge NI80, five wraps. Um, in this, I've got single strands uh, 24 gauge NI80. Um, it has a quick uh, ramp up for this device where with Don's, because you can go higher, it works better having the twisted on these. Um, and we're both using the Venom Candy Toxic Slime. It's a 80-20 blend, uh, great for flavor and clouds. Mm. That is the, the milkshake lime? Yeah. Which is nice, nice sour taste to it. Indeed. Um, and yeah, it's different, um, but a good different, um, different to the confectionery stuff that we're busy with or mm. been using lately. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, very it's nice. Palette very cleanser. Nice. Mm, it is. Like I think it's good for the winter as well. Yeah, definitely. Okay, let's do this. Okay. This thing fires so quick. Yeah, this one not so much. <laughs> so the the ramp up the the firing speed on the the battle star is quick, but it's just not as quick as the the mm. raw box. And um, you've you've done a you've done a review on this yeah, already. Yeah, the link will be in the description for yeah. that. Um, in fact, I think we've done you've done a review on the the tank as well. It was a short short review. Yeah. Um, I'll I'll also see, yeah. Um, it's very. I think I love the setup. I think this will go nice with the with, with the raw box as yeah. well. Actually. It will. Um, but yeah, I'll just put it on this. You can see with the building here, how you don't have to take a big drag and you're getting huge clouds already. Yeah. You know, just a quick drag and you get clouds. Even with mm. that, eh? Mm. Exactly. 
Even with the battle star. Oh, there you. <laughs> There's Martin. <laughs> Even with the battle star, you know, Don doesn't have to take these huge drags. It's just mm. it's quick. You know, a yeah. couple of seconds and he's got big clouds coming out of it. It's a phenomenal blend that. And I know a lot of people are probably thinking, well, we're still using this, this device. Uh, there's a lot of new devices. There's a uh, Charon or Sharon that's come out now. Mm. Um, but this device personally fits in my hand like a glove. Yeah. And that's why I enjoy using it. It's a nice everyday, um, unless you want to go for something like this, which is uh, a little underpowered, I think. <laughs> um, but this is also easy to carry around. Yeah. I just I find that if you're a vapor, this is kind of a, mm. a good, good everyday vapor. Yeah. And the great um, thing as well is you can close up the airflow, put the wattage yeah, down. Exactly. Get more of a casual. You've got the screen, button. which is brilliant. Yeah. That one you've got colors. Yeah. Which is also brilliant. So uh, if you guys liked the video, please like and subscribe. Uh, comment if you can. Until mm. the next one. Cheers. Cheers. Peace. Cheers. Peace.